For fans of lava stages, I introduce you to Donkey Kong Country 2's World 2, Crocodile Cauldron. And boy howdy, if you like secrets, get up here- wait, don't put him down, Dixie. We're gonna need him in a second. Get up here, and there's a hidden box with a double life, and I am a big fan of extra lives. Set him down, and he's gone. It's like magic. It's Clobbers. That's the name of the guys in the barrel, it's Clobbers. Terrifying. Oh yes, the crocodile mechanic is very simple. The brown ones launch you upwards, and they kind of... I don't know if it's diagonal or if it's you pushing it. I'm just used to pushing right, so... I don't know, you push it. You be careful, don't fall in. Traps. Getting in your way, so just drop the cannonball on him, or jump on him, whatever you need to do to go get in that cannon. Beautiful. I love it. And I didn't explain the types of bonus stages there are. There's collect the stars. I, they're not really needed to be explained, but just in case. Collect the stars, collect the number of stars, and climb on it. Find the token, let's just get to the end. And destroy all enemies pretty self-explanatory. We have a new animal buddy, though. This is Squitter, the spider, in case you couldn't tell from these delicious 16-bit graphics. He can put these webs in the air somehow. They suspend. And there's our DK coin, my friends, because I'm going to get all of them. I'm going to get them all. I guarantee it. Don't, don't tell me I'm not going to and hurt my feelings. But he can also shoot these little webs. And you can tilt them. You can you can determine the direction that they're gonna go. It's pretty awesome. I like Squitter a lot. I like him better than Rattly, Ratly, whatever you want to call him. He's a terrible animal. No, it's not Ratly's fault. He's just not that good. What's this? Bananas going upwards. I wonder what that means. It means a bonus. I don't know if it's a bonus stage, bonus room, whatever you want to call it. Bonus. There. That works for me. And of course, since you have Squitter in here, it's all about upward movement, and they give you 20 seconds to find something that takes you about 5 max. Unless you don't know how to arc the shots. And it's easy to move those webs. Oh yes, and to get them to run, to get the webs to work, you can press, I think, A once, and then when it's wherever you want it to stop, you press it again. Easy peasy. Easy as pie. I don't know. Just try it out if you don't get it. If you haven't played this game, just go play it. Am I kidding? Graphics are beautiful. The music is just... Mwah. I would say that the music in this game is worth checking out. I'd download it if you want to. Buy it. I have a copy. I actually got a copy of the soundtrack from Nintendo back when they sold products and in their Nintendo power. They probably still do. Either way, I love it. The music in this game is aces. Nothing but aces. Yeah, Diddy just rock out on that thing. My regular Radio Rahim over here. <sighs> Lovely game. I'm telling you, if you haven't played it, I'm not doing it justice. Oh yes, and this guy, look at him, he's a chump. Land lovers, call me that. Don't, I'm not giving you any of my pieces of eight. Fifteen creme coins. Well, I only have fourteen of those. Well, whatever. We can take them. Fight him or pay up. We can't pay up, but we can try. And he's not—he's not even gonna take the other fourteen as collateral. We'll fight him. Oh. Well, I didn't get this one. Whatever. We'll come back when we have more. In fact, we're gonna go to Swanky first. He can't give us any creme coins, but he can give us some lives. Cranky challenge. What is the name? Oh, what a challenge. It's clearly curfew. Wait, what? Wait, oh, was it the level? Or... Oh, okay. This is the area. This is the name of the island. That was the name of the first level. I wasn't really paying attention. Well, how many. T Whoa, you didn't kill him? Jeez. Swanky, don't be so crass. What colors of the crocodile heads you just jumped on? I don't know. Around, just like alligators and crocodile. I saw an albino alligator once, or maybe it was a crocodile, or maybe 
they were just, they just painted a crocodile white and said it was rare. Maybe, maybe I'm making this all. Maybe my life has been a lie. Oh, this is easy. You get ten. Do simple math, Swanky. Come on. The battle. Where's the battle first? Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait. I, who cares? What's the name? Come on. It is... Oh, yes. It's Dixie. Her last name is Normus. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I should write for Leno. What's this? A space. Over to the right. Get out of there. Dixie, take us home. Boom! Love it. Dixie, you are good at this platform thing. I don't know why, but I prefer... You know what? Of course I know why. And who would guess that that's there? Come on, that's just silly. Finding a, finding a hero coin in a bonus room, that's just ridiculous. I know why I prefer Dixie. It's because she's easier to... Alright, fine. If you're not... Come on, dude. Whatever. I, I prefer Dixie because... Clearly it's not working. The reason I like Dixie better is because she can float and you can have more precision to where you're gonna fall. Because this game's all about not falling, you gotta be careful. But I really, I don't know. I would say I prefer Dixie, but that's because when I was a kid, and I mean these habits run real deep, I didn't know just how handy you could be with, like, I didn't know how handy you could make Diddy's cartwheel, and I just didn't really utilize it that much, and I probably should have. But that's the reason I've always stuck with Dixie Kong so much, she's just useful. Man, I, have, I don't know why I'm getting so many of these banana coins, I don't even really, the only thing I'm spending them on is swanky, otherwise I'm just, I'll be honest, I'm just safe stating after each world, I'm not bothering going to Wrinkly Kong, and I don't really care what Cranky has to say. If you want to go play, if you want to find out what Cranky and Wrinkly have to say, if you don't even want to go talk to Swanky, don't worry about it. I just go to Swanky because I like that little bonus game. It, it's easy. He never asks you any different questions. They're always the same. So that's why they, the games are closed after you beat them, because if you can beat it once, you're going to beat it again. We've seen them. I don't. I don't know how many mini crows we've seen yet. I think this is the first level with the mini crows. Up. Oh, uh, take them over here. Yes. They don't. Hi they hide the bonus levels fairly. Like you have to do some exploring, but it's not out of the. It's not ridiculous exploring. Like how would I possibly? There are some spots that are a little tricky, but. I don't think anything quite as bad as Donkey Kong Country 1 had. But then, that's all up for interpretation. And you, I appreciate that they actually give you something, as opposed to nothing in this, state, in these, in this game. None of that ridiculousness of no... nothing, nothing to show for your efforts. In Donkey Kong Country 1, you didn't get any items. You just... Alright, enough of this. Donkey Kong Country 1 was fine, I'm just bitching for nothing. I, I, I like those li oh, I, I don't really think I explained those really hard to possibly determine what they do. Barrels, the, the barrels with your monkey's face on them can only be jumped in by them. Amazing, right? How could, who could guess that? Some kind of... I don't know, only detectives such as Monk and Sherlock, Sherlock Frankenstein can figure this out. We almost done with this level. I, I'm not always too keen on the mine levels, that's just me though. Man, I don't, have we, we've only missed like one Kong too, I've gotten, oh yes, and to get on top and to hit, I, I'm terrible at timing that out, but yes, just jump on the mini crow and that's how you get on the target. I'm not gonna get all the targets, I'm gonna miss plenty, I'm sure. Some of them I just, I don't feel like getting him. Some of them I'm just not too pleased getting something, whatever. I'm not pleased getting items. And here's Clapper! I like Clapper a lot. Clapper's a little baby seal. He's a cute little guy. Oh, and if you want the warp, this is one of the few ones I know, go back to that middle set of crates and you have to do the team up throw upwards. Back where that Claptrap was, I believe. 
So yeah, if you want to skip this not that hard level, go ahead. I don't like jumping on Clapper because it feels it looks like it hurts him. I just want to pet him. He's so cute. That's a cute seal. Like Claptrap, get out of here. I don't like you. I'm just, oh. And he claps though when you do it. It's, okay. Good. You'll kind of bug me. I don't know why I got the invincibility barrel just to just to kill these fish. That's all it is. There's nothing quite like killing fish, even when you don't have on guard. I think when I, when I was a kid, I used to call him like Eugene Nerd or something because I couldn't read because it was stupid. This game came out when I was like five. You can't blame me. Well, you can because I'm dumb and poor. I was poorly educated. But that. No, I wasn't. I was good. I'm smart. I can't be negative. It's too good a game to be negative for another. This game is beautiful. Beautiful. Girl. You get invested in these gorillas and their plight. You may say they're not gorillas. Well, I say shut up. And I must have missed on guard at some point. And they really telegraph that bonus stage by just putting a barrel right on top. I mean, come on. Now. And I know that we did miss on guard, because I'm pretty sure they're not going to They don't spit on guard back out at you. They don't spit them out in in the real stage. They just kill them off at the bonus level, and you get some bananas for your trouble. Excellent. And I notice, yes, we do have our 15 creme coins, but we're not going to go back to club. We're, we'll, I'll save that for later. You, if you play this game, you probably know where I'm going to put it. Or you don't, because you can't predict my wily intelligence. We'll figure it out. Together, my friends. This is a G. Ah, we've uh, gotten our next successful Kong. And yes, if you stay in the water while it's red hot, it will kill. It'll kill one of your Kongs. And this, this is kind of a hard to guess one. But there's your DK coin, hero coin. And spits back out. Get up there. Excellent. And I don't know what they got offered, but I always try and get the one ups. And if I, if there's a, they'll, sometimes they'll put the letter G on there. I don't really like that very much. And usually, if they do something like that, I'll either aim for the G or I'll just say whatever, and I'll get the, one of those banana tokens. Those tokens. Oh yes, and this is a different kind of clobber. I forgot, the first time. If he hits you, he takes ten bananas. That's very greedy of him, so kill him for his thievery. It's like the good lord says, an eye for an eye, and bananas will fucking kill you. It's not very polite of him, let's say that. Oh yes, I almost forgot, we get Rambi too, which is cool. This isn't really the best level for someone that's not very fast. Or, yeah, he's very fast. It's not the best level for someone who's not exactly very fast. He's kind of big and lumbering like Donkey Kong. But, get these balloons on top of the steam, they push you up, and then they slowly descend. Pretty easy gimmick, just kind of can be tricky to get working, just depending on... <laughs> I don't know. I think the balloons are easy enough to get. I get they're not really hard to do. It just kind of gets hectic depending on where they place the bees, and they they get kind of lighter. I mean, uh, if you can imagine that that the placement of enemies is difficult in stages of a difficult game, <sighs> some kind of crazy malarkey that's foreign to you all, I'm sure. And what's this? A wall. We have a rhino. Of course we're going to charge the wall. What else are we going to do with it? What do we have in here? A bunch of destroy them alls? Deal with that. Him, get him, get him. No, I want to keep jumping. I didn't want to risk that. Beautiful. And we're almost at 20 creme coins, but we buy things in multiples of 15. So it doesn't matter. I forget. I, oh, oh, I forget. You have to be cautious for this next part. Dixie? Go left! Ha! Thought you could fool me, did you, Barrel? But you did not! Your trickery cannot stand. 
what are they gonna do? Oh, I... Now this one I don't really like. Especially because the stars go so far up. It's kind of a pain. I... This one's not bad. Like, I can't really say anything in this game is terrible. Really shitty. I just... There's some things I'm not terribly keen on, but... Either way, doesn't make much difference. They're, they're all... It's a fun experience. I cannot deny that. I'm gonna kill that bee. And I made a bit of a mistake killing that bee. I'll explain why soon. Well, wait. Yes, it's this section. Oh, 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 shit, shit, shit. Okay, perfect. Here's why. Alright, Dixie. You ready? There, thank you. There you go. You're supposed to bring a barrel over and kill one of those bees. But I didn't. Or I guess I should have just brought that TNT over. Stupid bee. Oh, but I couldn't get this really valuable banana coin. Tragic. Well, I'll get it anyway. I should just avoided it on principle. Oh, good lord, I hope it's I just really want to finish the bowl. Hey! I know you're in there, clobber. Clobber you, throw you in the lava, once you burn alive. Yep. Okay, we just go on down. Get out of here, Zinger. I think Zinger is one of the few sprites of an enemy they didn't really change any. Because if you'll note, like, from the first game, not a lot of the enemies look too similar. Well, okay, they do look similar, but they don't look exactly the same. Zingers, though, the bees, I mean, for those of you not versed in Donkey Kong's zoology, the zingers really have yeah, changed. Yeah, I'm gonna harp on that point a little more. You might not understand bees and Donkey Kong, god forbid. And what's this? Another balloon? Well, you don't have to jump on that one. Doesn't matter. That's just for you to have some more time to contemplate what's on that if you want to. Why bother? It's all the same crap. One-ups or banana coins. Oh, I could go talk to Cranky. Not gonna do it. We're gonna go measure Squawk Shaft. Oh, oh shoot, I didn't even talk about Crook. And I think the, the secret exit to this level might have been down where that banana coin is. But to get that banana coin, if you wanted to get it, you just... Oh yeah, just toss Dixie over. Or toss, toss whoever isn't your main monkey at the time over to get it. It works splendidly. There's nothing to get pissed off about in this game. It feels weird. Oh, you, you get pissed off when you fall down holes. And it's really irritating to backtrack. I don't care how good the game is, I don't like backtracking for no real reason. I don't like backtracking from when you fall from the tall height and you have to climb all the way back up. I've never really liked that. But then, I don't think there are many people that think of that as a really brilliant game concept. I don't know. Maybe Angry Joe or you know, it. Talk about how whatever is stupid. Angry Joe Army. A suicide bomb IGN headquarters or whatever it's stupid shit he's cavalcading them for. But that, that's enough petty internet squabblings. This is silly. Come on. Get that one up. Hop in some barrels. Not that way, Dixie. What? What's, what are you doing? Get out of there. There you go. Women back for important missions. Always. This game is promoting sexism, but only in chimps. Because it's not cool to tell women. Oh, fuck. It is cool to toss women into bees. Like, that's probably the coolest thing since the bombs. But I will say that I think sexism is bad, except in chimps. That's pretty cool. Like, that's one of the ratter things you can do. Is be really sexist to chimps. However, I believe I've made a bit of an error, so we'll die. And come on, Diddy, stop being a drama queen. Come on, you really have to fall all that way. We're gonna go back to the first level because there's something that I need that I didn't really think of. It's not more free lives or anything like that. Get 
that out of the way. We need... Who else? We need Dixie Kong. And then, to get out of levels, press start and select. There you go. Pause it and press select to be more specific. So why do we need Dixie Kong? Because... We gotta see what's in here. Ah, bonus barrel. Imagine that. So what do we do in this? Ah, we shoot out of barrels. That's innovative. I've never seen that in some kind of Donkey Kong video game. And if you just shoot straight up. There you go. Yeah, these games aren't... I don't know. I think these games aren't very difficult. But then again, I'm only in World 2, and I'm really just kind of reliving the memories of them not being too tough. If you're going to collect everything, that's a little tricky. If you're just going to kind of play through it, eh, it's not that bad. But there are a few stages that will really give you some trouble. But yes, as you know, the Red Bees, the Red Zingas, they ain't, they ain't going to just die tossing coconuts at them or whatever. So, take out the yellow ones and be proud of yourself for that. Get the end. You don't leave an end behind. Maybe. Oh. And if you're clever, you can fly up underneath these guys and kind of ricochet. Or not ricochet, but just shoot the shot underneath them and kill them. So if you want to work a little smarter, go ahead. You don't have to. Like, see, I don't always want to be cheap. But fly through here. This arrow is telling us to go upwards for some reason. This one is continuing to tell us that. I missed that hero coin, but we'll see why. Because I'm going to do something incredible. I, this is another destroy them all. Like, if you have squawks, they should just give you destroy them all. There is one collect all the stars of squawks that I think is going to need. Which is basically just destroy them all. But there's a little twisty turn on it. And why didn't I get the hero coin? Because I got shot into it. That's rad. Ow. I'm so stupid. I... I was too busy worrying about that coin. I just look dumb. I think there's a barrel down here. Hey, get out of here. Leave me alone. Stupid vultures. Crows, I suppose, more accurately. Well, their name is Crow. How could they possibly be vultures? Oh. That's my ornithologist voice. He's one of my favorite comedic characters I've invented. Oh, I'm so ready. Just fight this boss. Alright. Oh, and they have the G over there. Oh, I think I was supposed to jump. I was supposed to shoot upwards. My bad. All right, time to finish this. We're gonna fight Cleaver. It appears to be nothing. But oh my God, it's a sword. Watch out! He shoots fireballs. I'll jump over him. This is tactics and platforming. Needs to prepare you for throw cannonballs at him. Big whoop de do. Now you can climb on the hooks. Uh. Sound like Louis Anderson. Oh, I forgot to go facing the dumb, silly girl. Oh, what? It's not that. You throw the cannonball into a fireball, of course. It's going to dissolve. It's not be silly. And. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we won. Get out of here, you chump. I don't know why you. Oh, oh my god, he's back. He's alive. He's a trick. Whoever would have imagined that? I would. Because I'm not dumb. Now, toss it upwards. Perfect. Now, if you spend a little time over here, it sets this cannonball up to fall later. Excellent. Just splendid. Whatever. We'll, we'll do it this time. You, I, I guarantee you I will kill him this time. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna make a fool of myself against this generic sword fire monster. So get on over. But yes, the cannonballs for the first three hits on Cleaver, they just drop. Or they're just there. But the next three... The first one is there, but then the next two you have to give them some time to spawn from the ceiling. So the longer you stay on the other side, the better the chance is that they'll, like, uh, they'll spawn faster, I suppose is what I'm getting at. Alright, Dixie. Diddy let us down, so you try it this time. Uh, I knew it. 
You're not fooling me, Cleaver. You're stashing all your shit over here. Now, come on. Go ahead. Punk sword. Oh, there it is. Alright, one more hit and he should be done. Yeah, head on over. This is fun. I like this boss. This is pretty, pretty nice. I'll let Diddy get the last hit on him. Why not? And just... Alright, just... Come on, just hit him with... It. Why did I do that? Why did I have to be a showboat and not just throw it? You, you can skip to the end, you've already seen it. The only thing you're missing is me getting the creme coin. You... I'm sorry. I'm not gonna cut it. No. I... I don't want to lie to you. I want to be honest. I'm not cutting it. I'm not doing that. I, I owe it to my... I owe it to my friends on the internet to not lie to you to be honest about how awful I am at this game and how negligent I was in this fight. I'm sorry to all of you. My, my arrogance has known no bounds. And Diddy, wait for him. There. Stop being a little showboat. We're gonna let Dixie handle this now because you clearly shown that you are irresponsible and you cannot do this right. And for this, Diddy, I have something very important for you to do. Go over there. There. That's what you get for making a fool of me. Enough. It wasn't Diddy's fault, I'm sorry. There. Just a gentle tap would have done it, but I had to jump at him like an idiot. Just go ahead, drink your soda, Dixie. You earned it. There's our 24th Creme Coin. We're doing smooth. And I'll see you in Creme Quay. That's our next world. Catch you guys on the flip side.